Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Today I'm going to show you the carburetor from a Stills 041 AV Farm Boss. The saw is from 1963. That's what I found the manufacturer's date to be inside. So I'm going to clean it up and get it working. So I already ordered a new air filter and a new spark plug. Uh, I drained all the old gas and bar oil out. I'm going to be getting new fuel lines. And right now I'm cleaning out the carburetor. So on this side, this little diaphragm goes and when the air pulls it adjusts. So I'm hoping this one will still work okay. It seems okay. So we cleaned out the little hole right there. So spring's working okay. Everything's good. So I didn't clean that part up or this because I'm going to be using the same gasket. So I'm hoping that it'll just fit right back in without leaking the air. If it is, I won't really know, but I don't have access to a replacement gasket for it. I've been trying to look online, and I couldn't find one. I could find a whole new carburetor for 20 bucks, but I was hoping to get this original one to work. So it's all original pieces. Except for the, you know, new air filter and new spark plug. Well, new fuel lines as well. But overall, all the stuff that you don't have to really worry about, most of it will be original. So it's always cool to get something that hasn't run for a long time working. This used to be my grandfather's saw, and then he gave it to my dad. And I believe it hasn't ran since the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, maybe even longer. So I'm going to get this side screwed back on. I'm going to pause the video, save you the hassle of watching me screw it in. When you screw in this type of stuff, make sure you do it in a star pattern so that one side isn't over down farther than the other. Hopefully the seal will reseal nicely. It's not rubber, so it's not like hard and flat. It's just kind of a paper. And it's still kind of wet from soaking it in the parts cleaner. So I'm hoping that it'll still work. So I'm going to pause the video, get that screwed on, and then we'll open up the other side. All right, I'm back. I got the screws out on this side. And we're going to open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Passages look pretty clear. So that's pretty good for it sitting with gas left in it. I'm pretty happy with that. That's where the built-in fuel filter would be, and the carburetor. There we go, get it to focus. And then the fuel comes in here. And then, let's see, through the way these passages work, it goes up and out of there. say no it actually goes okay so fuel comes in here comes up and out of here and it gets mixed here um, I believe oil comes in that's from the cap here there's the oil line oil comes in as well and is mix oil comes in from over here let me see, how does this work? I'm really not sure. So if everybody knows in the comments below, let me know. I'm going to definitely look this up. This is a really cool carburetor. 
the way it works. I think the air fuel or the fuel and oil are mixed in here and it goes through and then comes into the carburetor and when you give it gas I'm trying to do it one handed without it popping over here let me flip it over with the choke side that's easier because I know it'll stay so when the gas comes out of that brass fitting right there it shoots out sprays out and gets sucked down into the piston Which is actually on the other side. That's interesting. I think that's because it gets the... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> this is what it looks like. If you want to know how it works, I don't know. I'm going to have to research it. And I will definitely make a video on how it works. But right now we're just getting it cleaned up. So, all the internal passages look real nice. So... Gas should go through it nicely. It's nice and cleaned up. I'll get the rest of this sawdust and bar oil off of it. Soaking it in the parts cleaner for a while. Got it, but it's still still pretty thick on there. So I'm gonna screw this up. Boy, that, <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm not gonna really screw it up. I'm gonna put the screws back in. And uh, that is checking out the carburetor and cleaning it out of a Stills 041 AV Farm Boss Vintage Chainsaw. So, on the road to getting it to run. I'm looking forward to getting it going. It's going to be pretty cool. So in the comments below, if you want to know anything about this carburetor, let me know. I'm going to definitely be doing some research because I want to know how it works. I've never really seen a carburetor like this before. So, anyway, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. I will see you later.